There is a famous Arab proverb that says, nas ghayatun la tudrak. The happiness and the pleasure of other human beings is an aim that can never be achieved. Human beings cannot be pleased easily. One day they may be happy with you, tomorrow they may disapprove. A friend of mine who is from our brothers, the Ahl Sunnah, he said to me, he said to me, I am trying to seek the approval of my friends, but I can't. I said to him, why? He said, look, I am a Sunni, but I have Shia friends. When I associate myself with the Shia friends, they say to me, well, you know what? You're a Sunni. When I go with my Sunni friends, they say to me, you're a Shia because you have some Shia tendencies. When I go and spend time with my Wahhabi friends, they tell me you're a Kafir. He says, I can't win. I can't seem to get the approval of anyone. The notion that emerges is what? Human beings continuously strive to get that kind of recognition from the other in all types of shapes and forms, which is intrinsic in our setup. Yet the reality is, if you examine the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has spoken about this subject over 73 times. This subject, which is known as a river, satisfaction, seeking approval, is a subject of immense importance because the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala presents to you and I a very simple formula. This is something that people have got to learn throughout their lives because there is a famous Arab proverb that says, Ridha nas ghayatun la tudrak. The happiness and the pleasure of other human beings is an aim that can never be achieved. Human beings cannot be pleased easily. One day they may be happy with you, tomorrow they may disapprove. Luqman al Hakim came forward and demonstrated this using a famous story, which most of you perhaps have heard. He attempted to educate his young son that, look, when it comes to seeking approval, above all, primarily, without any other consideration, seek the happiness and the pleasure of God, the Almighty Allah Jalla wa'ala. Because you're wasting your time. If you're continuously seeking the happiness of X, Y, and Z, you will not get to your destination. They're both traveling. They enter a city. He is riding on a mule, on a donkey, and his what? His son is walking or is with him, but not riding. When they reach this area, this village, the people of the village, the inhabitants of the city start to make comments. They say, how could you be on your donkey and your son, who is younger than you, suffering? Surely it should be the other way around. He dismounts, he allows his son to ride on the donkey. They continue, they visit a second area. Now those individuals say completely the opposite. They say to the son, your father is older. Surely you should respect him by allowing him to ride and you yourself should be on your feet. At this moment, what happens? Luqman says, the best thing to do is for both of us to do what? To ride on it. That's the best way so that we will not get the criticism of the people. When they both ride on this donkey, what happens? Even at that time, there were the animal rights activists, right? They came out and said, this is animal cruelty. Both of you on a donkey? How could this be? Eventually, they decide to do what? To dismount and allow the donkey not to be mounted without anyone. Finally, when they reach an area, individuals come out and said, this is a practical demonstration of Israf. You have a donkey and you're not riding it. He came to the conclusion, he said, four occasions. We attempted to please human beings, but we were not successful. The, in other words, the Quran brings forward a very emphatic realization for you and I the goal of every human being should be what should be to seek the pleasure of the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala above all 
This is a reality that certain individuals in history recognized and grasped beautifully.